Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I wanted to talk and show you about how we can unlink, unlink SharePoint or the group from a site which was associated with that respective group, right? So what does that mean is that when we create any M365 group, it also creates the SharePoint site in the backend, right? But when we wanted to preserve a SharePoint site and we don't want it to use the group because whatever the features and capabilities of that group are including Outlook, Calendar, uh, Planner and all other uh, mailbox as well. And there are many other capabilities of that M365 group it has, right? So if in case we don't want those capabilities and only preserve SharePoint site, then we need to remove or delete that group, right? And I'm going to show you one of that way here in this video. So by using this way, you would be able to preserve the SharePoint site and delete the group, right? And yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and start. I'll just share my screen and I'll show you the steps. So the steps that I'm going to take are from the Microsoft Graph PowerShell, right? So those are the few liners of commands. And by using those commands, it is going to simply delete the group and we are going to preserve the SharePoint site. So we are not going to touch anything on the SharePoint site at all, right? And then it is going to be there for us. We are going to only delete the group, right? And the group related functionalities like calendar, as well as the uh, mailbox, then planner and all those capabilities of that respective group, right? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm on the Azure portal here and uh, I would simply go ahead in 365 portal and I wanted to select a specific team, right? Or the group. So this is the group I wanted to use it for and I'm going to show you, let's say, it, let's find this group here in the Entra portal or Azure portal, right? And from here, once we find it, we need to get the group ID, right? So this is the group ID here also i can click here and then get it and there is another way to get that as well from the uh, group section once you click so here's the group object id right so with, this is the group object so let's click on it and minimize it and here's the script i have right so here's the script i'm going to remove it here and add it, right? So now I'm going to execute this command, which is going to simply remove this group, right? And then uh, it is going to preserve the shape on site in the backend. But before that, there are different steps we need to take. Uh, first step is to install the MS Graph PowerShell module if we don't have that already installed. Uh, and the second is to connect with scope of these permissions right you can see group dot read write dot all so i have already done that one and i'm already connected here so i can show you get dash mg context and i can simply hit enter so i'm logged in with my account here as an administrator on this graph powershell so i'm good here and if you are not or if you don't have that module you need to install that module by running this command first first and then you need to connect it and then you can go ahead and collect the group id and run this command so let's go ahead and run this command so that we are going to remove this group so how we are targeting this group by using the group id right so this is very important and you need to target that specific group only and remove mg group is going to remove this group for the group ID mentioned in this parameter here, right? So this parameter is going to deliver that group ID to this parameter and then it is going to take the further actions. So let's go, let's go ahead and hit that enter button and then let it execute it. Perfect, so this has executed successfully. And then now the next command is to see whether the site was, or the group was deleted and it has preserved SharePoint site for us. Now, this is the command here for us to check whether the 
SharePoint site associated that group is still pro preserved, right? So how we are going to do that? We need to get, get this name, right? So let's get this name. Before that, I would also go here in the SharePoint site or SharePoint admin portal and find that here. So here you can see, and I will simply open and let's see perfect so that is showing up here and also if i go here uh, just a minute let me cross it out and i will search that again in the portal here you can see this was available for us but flat let's refresh this page and i will search that group here and let's see if that shows up because we have deleted it, right? Right, here it is not because it is deleted. If we go back to the deleted folder or deleted group section, you can see that it should be showing up here. Perfect, here it has that group, which shows that deleted on this date, that is the today's date, and it can be restored up to or uh, on this date, which is 11th of February next month, right? So it is a kind of 30 days of period for us to restore if in case we wanted to restore back, right? And for now, we can see that the site is preserved for us. To see and check that from PowerShell side, so we need to get that name and we need to give that name here and then Let's go ahead and execute this command, right? So let's do that here quickly and it should show the site. Uh, it shows that requested site could not be found. So oh, that is strange, right? Because the site is already available for us here and then it is still not showing up showing up as an if you see this is the site right okay i think this there's a problem here in the url just copy it and paste it here and then it perfect yep i had put an space here and that is why it didn't actually execute it and failed error so here is the name. This is the display name. This was the site ID, right? And you can see the name of the site and then URL. Now, if I copy this URL and execute or open it separately somewhere in the browser, it is going to open that whole SharePoint site for us, right? So you can see at the top here, which is which has a Teams icon, right? and it was a group of m365 type and this was associated with that but once we delete the group we don't have this group as well so if i go back and search here in entra portal or Rajiv portal we won't be able to see that group that group would be landed into deleted group section here you can see right and even I can go ahead and delete from here as well permanently or restore it if in case I wanted to get it back, right? So this way we can delete it and restore it back as well. So now once we have done that, we have this SharePoint site preserved in the backend. And this way we can store or use this SharePoint site for different purposes. Now I will say I will show you the other side of this SharePoint site from SharePoint admin portal. So now you can see that here the message which says we could not find M365 group connected to this site. And if you look into the membership, you will see all the SharePoint capabilities are automatically applied to this SharePoint site, which includes site admin, site owner, site members, site visitors, right? And other settings as well, including activities and then general details. But if we have a group 
which has associated SharePoint site. So what would be the difference? I will show you that as well. So let's say, go ahead and click on this site or this SharePoint. Here you see email, teams and few sites. Now, if you click on membership, you will see owners and members, right? Why? Because this is a group. It has a group associated SharePoint site. And that is why these are the different things that we can see. But when we remove the group and only convert it to the, or the site automatically converts into the SharePoint site, right? Without deleting that one, it becomes the complete SharePoint site. And from here we can manage that as administrator, right? So this is what is the difference there is. And this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, using the graph power cell uh, do let me know what are the other steps or other uh, methods you have used you know about the conversion of uh, or removing of group and then preserve the sharepoint site in the back end for us for future usage for requirements right and there are many requirements which includes the governance where we wanted to clean up the groups and uh, stale sharepoint sites and maybe a groups or the components around the groups like calendar, uh, planner and OneNote and uh, calendar events, right? And the mailbox as well, right? And all of that stuff is also something uh, maybe confusing for users and people across the organization. And that is why it becomes a kind of activity for organizations to go ahead and delete those unnecessary groups, unnecessary workloads which are associated with the groups and preserve only SharePoint sites. Sometimes there are situations where organization has to delete whole group, including SharePoint sites and all other capabilities as well. So yeah, that's all This that's all for this video I wanted to show you and uh, this would be very helpful for you. And I uh, hope you like it. Please do like, share and subscribe. Also share with your friends, colleagues and who you are to see and watch. And yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.